What's up YouTube, it's your boy Rhett, back at it again with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a pretty cool integration between the Brave web browser and Gemini, my favorite cryptocurrency exchange. And the integration basically allows you to take your BAT Brave tokens and convert them into any cryptocurrency exchange automatically using Gemini. So if you guys watch the end of the video, I'm gonna be going through what the Brave browser is, how to link your Brave account to Gemini, and then I'll go over how to automatically convert your BAT tokens into any cryptocurrency that Gemini offers. So if you follow all these steps, basically you're going to be, instead of receiving your BAT tokens at the end of each month for using Brave, you're actually going to be receiving some other token that's available on the Gemini exchange. And it can be whatever token you want. Bitcoin and Ethereum will be the easiest, but if you wanted to put it in SushiSwap or Doge or one of these other degenerate altcoins, you can do that as well. Go down below and smash the like button for crypto automation and let's level up your brain. <laughs> So first, let's talk about what is the Brave web browser. Brave is a Chrome-based web browser that allows you to earn their BAT cryptocurrency token by opting into their ad service. So basically, they show you some ads that are predetermined whatever partners they're partnering with. And then because you saw those ads, and you opted into seeing these ads, you actually reward it at the end of each month with a certain amount of BAT Brave token. And every time you open Brave, you can actually see how much BAT have I collected so far this month and then how much is available in my wallet over. Overall. Brave has been around for a while now, and it's a really interesting business model that I think they were sort of one of the first companies to really pursue. And it's this idea that like, theoretically, if everyone was using Brave, you wouldn't need ads before this video on YouTube anymore, because all the people watching this video or whoever's video it was, they would donate their basic attention tokens to that person, and then that person would receive basically the ad revenue or the attention revenue of the BAT token. And so it's a very disruptive business model that sort of, you know, we don't really need ads as much anymore. In theory, anyway, all of the stuff, you know, works really well on paper, but then you go to the real world and not everyone wants to use the Brave web browser. In the real world, if you go and donate your BAT to some YouTuber through Brave's interface, they might not have a Brave wallet set up and you might have just sent the BAT to no one and they'll never collect the money and you know, you just wasted it. And I think it's for this reason that a lot of people just like stack their BAT tokens and hope that the price goes up and never really do anything with them. Or they would withdraw them through Uphold, which previously was the only wallet service that you could connect to the Brave web browser. And in my opinion, the user interface and the fees for that wallet were really not great. And it made the entire experience of using Brave and collecting these tokens totally not worthwhile in my opinion. But that's where Gemini comes in. I think it's been a few months now, Gemini has actually become the second wallet that you could integrate with the Brave web browser. I've been using it for about a month now as I've gotten back into using the Brave browser regularly. And what this Gemini integration allows you to do is basically at the end of each month, Gemini will take the funds that are in your BAT wallet on your Brave browser and then automatically transfer them to your BAT wallet within your Gemini account. What's great about that is that once we're within the Gemini platform, we can now write scripts using Gemini's API to automatically sell that BAT token into any other cryptocurrency pair. The easiest ones to do are gonna be Bitcoin and Ethereum, but you could do it with any cryptocurrency token that is available for trading on Gemini. It's just going to be an extra line of code. And it's at this point when I bring up all this API talk that everyone goes, you ret, that's so much work. I don't want to do that. Good news. Lots of people have done this before and have found it very easy. If not very easy, kind of easy. And the people that got stuck just DM'd me on Twitter and we were able to solve literally everyone's problems. So I believe in you, you can do this. Just take the 15 minutes, the 10 minutes to set this up. You'll never have to do anything ever again, I promise. It will be fully automated. And instead of receiving useless BAT tokens, you'll be receiving the most pristine collateral ever created, Bitcoin. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is once you open Brave, you're gonna click up here on this little Brave triangle situation. And it might tell you your wallet is logged out. If it does, you can just click reconnect. It's gonna ask you if you wanna connect Gemini and Brave you're gonna hit allow and then you'll be linked back up. So you can see that as of this month, I'm projected to earn about five BAT tokens, which is pretty consistent with what I earned last month. If I just go to my Gemini account here, we can see that I earned 4.98 BAT tokens. And so if you wanna set this up for the first time, I'll disconnect here and I'll show you just how this works. So I'll disconnect. Now I just have a disconnected BAT wallet connected to my Brave browser. I'm gonna click verify wallet. I'm gonna click continue. I'm gonna click Gemini. And then I'm gonna go through this again, basically, and just hit allow. They're gonna talk to each other. And now I'm synced up with Gemini. And you can see that in the top right here, it says my wallet and there's a little Gemini symbol. So that's all you have to do. There's no fancy API codes or anything like that yet. Brave is now totally hooked up to Gemini. You're gonna automatically get your BAT tokens moved over to 
to your Gemini account at the end of whatever your BAT funding period is. It looks like it's just monthly. Actually, it looks like mine comes November 7th. So maybe it's monthly, but then your payment date is a week later or something like that. So that was super easy. Next, let's take a look at how we can automatically turn this BAT into a different cryptocurrency over on Gemini. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to go to console.aws.amazon.com and you're going to sign up for AWS if you haven't already. If you're new to AWS, you can check out this video that I'll link up in the cards up there. I made that video that basically just teaches you what AWS is and how we use it for these Gemini tutorials here. In that video, I also set up a brand new AWS account. So if you are worried about like how long is that gonna take and like how does that work, it took me about two minutes, I think, to set the whole thing up. And so it's a very easy process. So definitely go check that video out after this if you are unfamiliar with AWS. But for the rest of us, I'm just gonna keep going here. Once you're in AWS, you're going to find your way to Lambda. If you don't have Lambda up at the top, you're just going to go to All Services and you're gonna click Lambda down here under Compute or you can just do a Control F for Lambda and it should show up. Once we're in Lambda over here, we're gonna click on Layers over in the left-hand side of the screen and we're going to hit Create a Layer. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Notion link that's down in the description and that is going Going to have up here at the top a layer.zip. If you've already set up any other Gemini automation that we've done on this channel, you're not going to need a new layer.zip. But if you don't have one yet, you're going to want to come here and just download this layer.zip. This basically allows us to execute Gemini Python functions within the AWS cloud environment. And I have instructions here on how I generated it in case you don't trust it and you want to generate your own by yourself. So you'll download this and then you'll come over to Lambda. You'll click upload a zip file. You'll click the layer.zip. You'll click x86.64. You can name this Gemini. Gemini Python layer, and you can give it whatever description you want. And then the runtime important is gonna be Python 3.8. I'm not gonna create one because I have created a new one for all these demos. Now I have like 95 layer.zips, but this is basically all the settings that you need here. So just upload from a zip file, upload the layer.zip, x86.64, Python 3.8, name it whatever you want. So then you'll hit create and it will create your layer. Next, you'll click back to Lambda and you'll click create function. You'll author the function from scratch and you'll do Python 3.8 and you'll name this function convert BAT to BTC, x86.64, and then you'll hit create function. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do here is you'll scroll down and you'll see this, my head is covering it right now. You'll see this add a layer button down here and you'll click add a layer. You'll click custom layer and then you'll choose your Gemini layer, whatever it was, and you'll hit add. And so what that just allowed us to do is now if we type import Gemini here, it's going to know what we're talking about because it has that Gemini package uploaded into this Lambda function here. Real quick here guys, right from the future, the the next step you're gonna to need to do is come back to the Notion page and then take this convert BAT to BTC function and just copy this over into your Amazon Web Services Lambda function here. I lost this piece of the footage, so just make sure you do that. The next thing you wanna do here is you'll note that the public and private keys right here are totally empty. And so what you're going to need to do is come back over to Gemini and you're going to click account and then settings. And then if you scroll down on the left, you'll see API programmatic access and you'll hit create API key. You'll select the scope here as primary. You can call this BAT to BTC and you'll copy this API key as your public key. Paste that there, should start with account and then you'll paste your secret right here. Copy the secret and then paste that as the private key. You'll note that they're not gonna show you your secret key again. So if you do end up ever losing these keys, just come back through here and repeat the process basically and create new API keys. It's not really a big deal if you lose them. And then for this, we're gonna click fund management and trading. Not going to require a session heartbeat. And then we're gonna click that you understand that you put your API keys in a secret place you're going to click create API key. Make sure not to give these API keys to anyone else. I'm gonna delete these after I film this video just because you don't want other people trading on your behalf basically. So now we'll hit deploy and our keys should get deployed up to the AWS cloud environment. And so now we'll hit test. Okay, I've been messing around with the math to get the cell size correct and I think I finally got it. So I'm gonna hit test now and see what happens. It looks like we have created an order. So now if I go over here, we'll see that yes, we have created a BAT BTC order. So there's the sell order. So we've created now a sell order for BAT BTC quantity 4.98008 bat, which is basically what I have. And then for the price, basically the same price of Bitcoin. So let's see if this fills. I think the problem that we're going to run into here is that the 24 hour volume for BAT BTC is really illiquid. So I'm gonna pause the video for now and I will come back to you when 
this order has filled. My bat BTC order has filled. And so it didn't actually take that long. This is a case though, where again, this market is very illiquid. I think I could have sat on that order for a very long time. And you'll see here that I still have, you know, a little bit of bat left over. That is just due to Gemini actually doesn't let you trade past like the sixth decimal point of bat. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So it's just never possible to trade that last decimal point, which is really annoying. <laughs> anyway, once you've gotten the function written the way that you want it, whether you're doing the direct to cryptocurrency option or whether you're making two trades, the way that you're gonna automate this now is you're going to go back to AWS and you're going to click on CloudWatch and under all services, it's in management and governance. So if you just do CloudWatch, it's actually the second one. And so then over here in rules on the left, you'll just hit create rule and you'll pick a schedule. And I'm gonna put different cron timings down in the description. You're basically just going to want to run this script after Gemini has deposited your actual BAT into Gemini. And the way to figure out the day that that happens is if you just go back to your Gemini account, and if you click on account and then balances, you can come into transfer history here. And then once you're in transaction history, you can look for your BAT deposit and you can see what time your BAT actually cleared. And so then you can just set up a recurring automation in AWS to run the script the day after the bat appears in your account. So I'm assuming I've only done this for one month, but I'm assuming it comes in on the same day every month. I don't actually know what the variance is between, you know, times that they actually deposit the BAT into your account, but I'm just going to run mine on the 10th of every month now. So if I go back to CloudWatch, I'm going to make myself a little cron function here. I'm going to do it at noon GMT on the 10th day of the month. So if I just copy this, I'll send this over to CloudWatch. Got to put a question mark right there. And so now this is going to run on the 10th of November, the 10th of December, the 10th of January, February, March, April, yada, yada, yada at 12.00 GMT. So the first two here, this is the minutes. So 01, that'll change to 01. Minutes, hours, and then day of the month. And then I'm just gonna hit add a target and I'm going to click the BAT to BTC function that we just wrote. I'm gonna name this. BAT to BTC, and I'm gonna hit create rule. And so now every single month on the 10th, that script is gonna run automatically, and it actually doesn't even matter how long it takes to fill the order. Eventually that order will fill, unless BAT like really runs up against Bitcoin for a long time. And I won't have to do anything, right? Brave is automatically depositing the BAT into Gemini, and then this script will automatically turn the BAT into Bitcoin. And then my other script that I wrote in the first Gemini video will actually take that Bitcoin and and pull it out into my cold storage hardware wallets. And so now I don't have to touch anything. I can just go about using Brave as a regular guy, right? Oh, twitter.com. Oh, I saw an ad. Oh, I got some bat. Oh, now it's the hardest money that's ever been invented by humans. Your grandchildren are gonna be happy about that. Your great grandchildren are gonna be happy about that. They're gonna say, Rhett, thank you for giving us this steak that we bought with our Bitcoin. Good thing you didn't keep it in bat. What a worthless piece of that was. Okay, so basically what this function is doing is it's saying take this symbol BAT BTC. So if you wanted to change this to BAT ETH or BAT USD, those are the three options. And if you're doing it with two trades instead of one trade, you're gonna need to do BAT USD because that's the most liquid market basically and the fastest way that you'll get to that second trade. So here, all we're doing is we're opening up a connection with Gemini. We're saying if we have any BAT in our wallet, figure out what the balance of that BAT is. And then if our sell size is zero, which it is by default. So if you wanted to sell two of your five bat, you would just come down here and you would put two that would override your sell size and it wouldn't, you know, take your bat balance basically. But for now, I think most people are going to want to sell all their bat into either Bitcoin or Ethereum. And so I just left that as the default as zero. So if it's zero, which for most people it's going to be, take the floor of a bunch of crazy stuff right here. So the reason that I had to do this math was that if you have bat in your Gemini account, it goes out to seven digits, but you can only trade. Gemini only lets you trade on six digits of BAT BTC, and it only lets you trade on eight digits of quote currency price increment, which I think is the like how accurate the BAT BTC price is basically. And you can see all of this in the API here. So you can see that it's coming out to eight digits quote currency price increment and tick size here. I just took them straight from this table. And so like right here, you can trade up to six digits of bat against eight digits of Bitcoin. And so that's how, you know, this is like finding your price. And then this is finding like the size of bat that you can actually trade. So that's why those have to be there. And I had to do this crazy math basically to make sure that 
when you're rounding, you don't round up into the seventh digit. Like if your seventh digit was a six, which mine was, I think, right? So mine was a six. So it was taking more bat than I actually had, right? Cause the six was rounding up the last digit. It was a total nightmare. So this is the math, this is how it works. And again, just multiplying by basically the ask price of BAT, BTC. So you're getting like a slightly lower than market price. So you should get as fast of an order fill basically as you can get. If you wanted to make this 0.999, that might make it even faster, but at some point it's going to get too close to what the actual spot price is. So I would just leave this alone and your fills will happen when they happen. I don't think anyone is making a life-changing amount of money from Brave, but if you are, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, and then down here, it's basically just executing the cell. And so that's how the script works. If you guys find these Gemini tutorial videos helpful, please go down below and leave it a like so that YouTube can show it to other people who have not yet found these videos and that can benefit from implementing some of these strategies. Like we talked about earlier in the video, it is a little bit of work to set this up, but I really think that it's an investment in your time savings in the future. I think just taking the 10 or 15 minutes to set up the strategy in the first place is going to pay dividends when you can use the strategy basically for the next year, two years, five years, 10 years, however long Gemini stays in business basically. Also, it's really good to learn about AWS and about cloud computing because it is a huge skill that's gonna become more and more important over the next 10, 20, 30 years. And I think ultimately the Brave token is kind of useless. So I'm hoping that this video can encourage more people to use the Brave web browser to take advantage of sort of the opportunity to stack sats that is here. But to again, use that opportunity to stack sats and not to stack useless not financial advice. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. I do still respond to all the comments and then feel free to DM me on Twitter if you guys get stuck at any point implementing the solution. YouTube actually deletes comments that are like posted in really long threads or I found that they have before. And so posting just a bunch of back and forth YouTube comments is not as easy as just doing it over Twitter DM. Speaking of giant wastes of money, I recently purchased a Yat, which is like an emoji URL NFT, I think. I don't really know. But if you go to y.at slash brain rocket moon, you can actually see all of my relevant links there. And so if you can't find my Twitter account for some reason, that would be the place to go to find it. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I love you all. Goodbye.